Well, welcome to another episode of Casa Chat. Today we have on Wit and Sarah Eric, and they are uh, um, the owners of a local business here in the San Marcos Central Texas area um, who choose to support Casa through their business. So we wanted to have them on and um, give people an opportunity to learn about getting involved with Casa this way. So welcome so much, Wit and Sarah. Thank you for being on today. Hello. Thank you for having us. So the first thing I want to know is um, how did you even learn about CASA as individuals, as a business? Um, you're located right here in Central Texas, which is our coverage area. Um, but how did you first become aware of the program? Before I joined working with WIT at Hill Country, I, uh, I worked in youth ministry. And so we worked very closely with fostering communities and the adoption community. And they, of course, um, had things you had relationships with CASA. And so we got to know them through that. I got to know them through that. And when I started working with WIT, I brought CASA in later in to our organization. Well, there are lots of organizations that deal with abused and neglected children. Um, what about actual CASA of Central Texas that stood out to you um, that you thought, okay, we're going to go all in with our business? We, uh, WIT and I, when we met volunteering with youth, and I feel like what something that stood out between both of us is that when we were children, we both had adults that weren't our parents that advocated for us, that supported us. And that's been a big passion of our marriage because we are married is just being that for other children. When we, whether we know them through friends, our community is just being an advocate for them and having intentional relationships with them that they know that they're supported by adults. And so when we heard about CASA and, and that was something that really stood out to me was being a voice for children that weren't necessarily always having a voice heard and the way that they went about it where they 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 spoke with the kids about the kids desire intentions but kept an adult outlook on it that they were tr they were working with kids and kids ideas of it and speaking on behalf of them it was just really impactful for us. That's amazing. It sounds like you understand um, the role of the CASA volunteer perfect. Now, we always um, talk about the need for more volunteers so that we can match them up one-on-one um, -on -one with children, um, but we are a local 501c3 nonprofit, so we um, depend on the community support to be able to provide those volunteers for the children. Um, so people can donate to us individually, we get grants, um, lots of ways to support us, um, but y'all with your business, Hill Country Tech Guys, choose to support CASA. Why um, does it make sense as a business um, to get involved? Because y'all are married, you share finances, you could easily choose to just um, contribute to us financially um, as yourselves, but why is it important to you to get your business name out there and get behind CASA that way? As a business, we've been saying for many years about being a community support. It, it, we do it in many various different ways. We have a few different areas that we work in. We also talk about being a more green-minded company for this for our area. But the, we believe that businesses need to support the community. They need to support the different entities in our community, and that's what creates community health. So it was our part. We we bring our um, employees to the fundraising events. We helped uh, CASA with their uh, cabling in their new building so that we got all, all of them to volunteer and involved, and we preach it in it because they all live in our area too, and we all need to be very intentional about supporting the community. That's amazing that you get your whole company involved too. You don't just write a check, but y'all actually want your employees to know um, who they're supporting when they come to work. Um, why do you think that other businesses, again, we're, we're talking Hill Country Tech Guys, not as you in, as individuals, but why would you recommend to other local businesses? Um, why is it a good thing to kind of partner with a local nonprofit? Well, I mean, the, the easy one I would say is it's a tax write-off, right? You want to make, you want your money to make a difference. And sure. this is a local way that you can see your money making a difference. And it, it it's probably sounds a little cliche to say, but when you see your, your money going into something to benefit the community in a very specific and exact way, it helps you feel empowered with the ability to do that. 
So the business that we're talking about is Hill Country Tech Guys. Um, and as you mentioned, you support us in a number of ways, um, kind of in kind um, by doing those services, but also by writing that check for our fundraisers. Um, what's the story? You kind of mentioned that um, you're obviously um, married, so this is a family decision. Um, how, did the, how did Hill Country Tech Guys even come to our community? What's the story behind y'all's business? Well, it kind of comes back to like, you know, you know, talking about the adults that sponsored us as kids. My family's a bunch of entrepreneurs. Um, almost all of them are. And I was raised by a lot of those entrepreneurs, you know, helping them with their businesses, helping them grow their businesses. And, you know, and even to the point, you know, when I first, first started, they, they helped me and in, uh, in this business and my previous business. And it's just, it's just kind of who, you know, we are is we like to help people. We like people we you know I, I enjoy my employees i enjoy my customers and uh you know we we, we don't look at this as work which we try not to we try to look at as helping people and helping them you know move forward and, and uh that's what we enjoy and what are some of those services that y'all provide um it kind of says it in the name hill country tech guys um but let us know why um would someone come to you what kind of problems would they be having that they're looking to solve i mean the primary thing we like to do is team up with companies that are trying to use IT as a strategic resource and, you know, and then try to make it an asset. A lot of people try to look at IT as a liability. And in, in this day and age, it has to be an asset. You have to be using it to move your business forward. It has to be helping you propel forward and, and, and meet business challenges. And if it's not, then, you know, we, you know, that's the goal, right? Is it needs to be, it needs to be, uh, you know, good is important to you as your most valuable employee, right? It's like, you know, uh, and, and that's how we see people growing and, and we like to uh, partner with those people. And um, with those people, what is your service area? Who, in, who should call you? I mean, ideally, we uh, stick to Austin, San Antonio is like the headquarters of operations. But, uh, you know, depending on the business case and use case, we have a lot of customers now that don't have offices at all. And we just help them in, uh, with hosting and the data center and, and development. And, you know, we uh, ship computers to their employees and cell phones and, you know, kind of provide logistics for that, too. So at this point in the modern day we're in, it's kind of wide open. Um, we typically work with businesses between 50 to 250, 300 employees. It kind of seems to be the most leverage we have and um you know you know if you have a computer give us a call perfect and what um as a business i'm sure um when you come up with with this product and you're going to market it and everything but it, at the core of it you have um what you want to be as a business how do you want to be known in the community what's important to you um, you know, one of our core values is reliability and, you know, we want to be there for people to count on us that we're going to provide consistent results, consistent help, um, you know, continue on it from day to day and, you know, be the guys who answer the phone. Right. I mean, I feel like in our, in my career as an uh, in entrepreneur, you know, the number one thing is just answering the phone. You know, so many people just don't and so many vendors just don't and like, we're there for you. We're going to answer the phone. We're going to take your your situation in consideration and do our best to help you. And, you know, that reliability is what people depend on. You know, we want to be that for people so they can, you know, worry about other things in their business and lives. It's interesting that you bring up reliability because that lines up so much with our mission with CASA is that we really want to be um, the organization that provides reliable adults for these children. And so it sounds like y'all's mission and our mission lines up perfectly. Um, what's one more thing um, that you want the community to know about your business that y'all are here, you're here to help? Um, what's something that you want them to know about y'all? Um, so we like to partner with team people like to find IT as an asset and, you know, and, and if there's any kind of public service announcement, it's like, it's IT security, right? Um, to protect yourselves if you're not, you know, having active conversations about IT security and, you know, people used to think that was antivirus and a firewall, right? But now it's processes, procedures, um, it's tools, it's, it's just, it's, it's so big. Uh, and we're finding a really underdeveloped security in people and it's, it's affecting people's lives quickly. And uh, y you need to be doubling down in security and what you do to protect your family. You know, you don't think about protecting your business. It's time to start thinking about protecting your family and, 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 and you know, especially for entrepreneurs, right? Obviously, we are directly tied to our business success. Um, but it's, you, you have to do it. So, you know, just like you put an uh, alarm system at your house, you need to be 
thinking about your IT and what you can be doing more. So. Yeah. And I would double on that, that we offer a lot of free resources. We have on our website, we have tons of webinars that talk about cybersecurity, what they need to be doing, remote workforces and how to do that with in a more secure way. Um, resources that they can be looking up on their own. Just we're, we're here to try to help people move forward to gain some strategies um, and to utilize technology to do that. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to partner with us to get those resources. So it sounds like whether you're at the beginning of your journey of needing tech help or um, looking to revamp it, bring it into your home, um, it's worth it to at least give you guys a call and, and see what how you can work together. So we just wanted to let people know that there is a um, local company here in the Central Texas area for your tech needs. Um, and of course, we at CASA would encourage you to support them as they have been supporting us through all these years. So um, thank you again, Wit and Sarah, for coming on with me um, and sharing about why y'all support CASA with your business. Thank you. Thank you.